Good morning. This is your host, Latoya Walker. And I woke up this morning and God put this in my spirit. I rarely ever do two podcasts back to back, but I had to. So um, I want to talk to you guys about um, praying people out of your life. And I'm not saying this in a, a crazy way. I mean, when I say pray somebody out of your life, you need to actually go to God and pray and ask him to remove the people from your life that are not for him or not for you. And I tell you, when you do this prayer, when it comes back, don't be surprised or don't be shocked. I did this prayer a couple years ago and I will continue to get up and do it. As days went by, people were leaving my life. And for a minute, I thought, well, you know, maybe this got something to do with me. And it did. It did. It had a lot to do with me. It had a lot to do with me and it had a lot to do with them. It was more of God wanted me to go in the direction that he wanted me to go in. He wanted me to himself. And he knew once he had me to himself, I would do his work and his will and I would do the things that he called me to do. So when I say, um, say a prayer, I don't want you to feel like that you can't speak to these people anymore when God gives you the answer, but you do have to deal with them from a distance. Because if you plan on going anywhere, you have to obey what God tells you. It's different seasons in our life. Different seasons are just like we have seasons. We have spring, summer, fall, winter. That's how life is. And for one minute, you may be with these group of people because this is how you think. But when God elevates your thinking, you may go into a whole different group. You got Saul, you got Paul. Same person. Thought one way at one minute and thought another way at another minute. You can't hang out with Saul anymore when you're Paul. You got to get away from your old self and you got to get away from the old people. And I stress this so much because my life made a change when I removed myself from the old me. Old friends, old places that I hung. God started to bless me and it it, it, it wasn't just like, a blessing, just a small blessing, it was a universal blessing. He started to bless me when I got by myself. I prayed and I prayed and I said, I would say this prayer and from left to right, relationships, friendships, family. I'm like, wait a minute, God, everybody leaving. And he said, I want them to leave. (laughs) I'm changing you. Everybody left. He replaced them with good people. He replaced them with his people. So you're going to go on a journey by yourself of loneliness. It's just going to be you and the Lord. It's just going to be you and the Lord. And I'm going to tell you this. This is the best feeling in the world. It's the best peace in the world. Your phone going to barely ring. When it's just you and God, your phone going to bear. It's just going to be you and him. And he'll gradually send people from his kingdom into your life to feel the void, to feel that friendship of need, 
But the most part, he's going to feel it. They just going to be there to help you, but he's going to fill the void. So you're going to be so filled with it. You ain't going to want to talk to nobody else. I'm just being all the way real. When when you get that void feeling from God, you're not going to want to even pick up your, you just going to want it to be you and him. That's how deep the intimacy is. That's how deep it is. You're going to wake up happy every day. You just, you, it, it, it's a, it's a, feeling that only those people that have invited him into their life, they the only ones, that's the best high you can ever receive. That's the best high you can ever receive, but you got to be willing to step into that ram with him. And it's going to be a lot of stuff that gets taken away from you. You're going to be stripped. You're going to be stripped and you're going to have to surrender all the way. You're going to be stripped. You go, you can't bring nothing in with you. Everything got to be left. Everything got to be left at the door. Everything going to be left at the door. So when you say this prayer, you got to be ready. And I don't know who this is for, but you need to ask God to show you. Who should be there? Because a lot of you people ain't even prospering in life because of your surroundings, because of the people that surround you, because they don't do nothing but bring negativity and drama. That's what they live for. And you can't move forward because of their actions. So you are hurting yourself. God don't gave you a vision, a thought. And and you can't even get it together. It, he he ain't even allowing to go through until they leave. They gotta go. They have to go. I don't know who it is or what it is. They have to go. And when I say this, this is nothing but the truth. The minute that I release myself, the minute that I release the old me, the minute that I release family, friends, places. When I tell you, God started giving me so many visions that I can't even keep up with them. He started allowing me to meet different type of people. And I'm not saying this to be braggadocious, but it's it, it's top people. It, it, it's, it's some of his top generals. Kings and pastors on high platforms. I ain't never been around any of these type of people in my life. And it's not me that that's attracting them. It's the spirit of God. It's God. These are God's people. So when I tell you, if you're ready to go to your next move, you're going to have to break free from yourself. You're going to have to break free from these people that's been hindering you all these years. It ain't nothing I want in my past. It ain't a friendship. It ain't a relationship. I don't even want to go where these people at. I don't want to see them. And I'm not saying that with any animosity or any hate because it's still all love at the end of the day. But I know who I was when I was around them. And I know who I was when I was with them. I know who I was. And I don't ever want to see that person again. So if it's somebody out there, and you're trying to figure out why you're not moving forward in life, you need to check yourself and you need to check your surroundings. And I'm telling you, you can break free from it. You can break free from it. You want a new beginning. You want a new thought. You want a new mind. You want a new heart. You got to surrender. You got to remove yourself. You got to ask God to forgive you. You can't think about nothing you don't done in your past. You Paul now. Leave Saul where he at and go where Paul is. And I hope this helps somebody because this helped me. This helped me. God made me a new woman. He made, he he introduced, he, he gave, you know what? He showed me the vision of myself in a dream. He showed me the vision of who he was preparing me to be in a dream. And I jumped up out of my sleep.
and I wanted to be her. You 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 have to want to be this person that God is is creating you to be. And you you're not gonna be this person if you're still hanging out with the same crowd. 15, 20 years, we ain't went nowhere. 40 years, we still sitting at the same bus stop. Bus ain't going to come. That bus don't even go in that direction anymore. And you've been sitting there 40 years at the same spot. You ain't moved not once. You ain't moved because of the direction that you going in. You got the wrong directions. You got the wrong direction and you still trying to go down that street with a dead end. Remove yourself. Remove yourself. Get by yourself. You if you you don't even have to explain to people what you're doing. If they don't like it, oh well. You know how many enemies you're gonna get trying to change and do better? A hundred, a thousand. You're going to have so many enemies when you change. You ain't going to even do nothing to these people. You ain't been no done nothing to them. They just see the change in you. So now you don't become an enemy. Oh, he think he better. She think. Let them think and say whatever they want to say. Go for what God has for you. Go for what God has for you. Say this prayer. If you ready to be free. You ready to go another direction? You need to ask the Lord. And I'm telling you, you're not going to like the results. <laughs> it may be somebody you may be married to. Maybe somebody you, you, you've been in a relationship for 15, 20 years. And when you say this prayer, God going to start exposing them. He going to expose. It ain't going to take no, 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 another year or two. When you ready, oh, he going to give you the results. He gonna, you might not like them. And when he give you them results, stand on it. It going to hurt you. You might not like it, but stand on those results and move forward and go forward and be the king or queen and stand on your throne. Because right now we standing on thrones around here with the father. We ain't looking back. We don't want to go sit over there where they sitting at. We don't want to be over there. I ain't looking back. I don't plan on going back. I, I I just don't. I don't care how um lonely I get. Um I no, I would never go back in that direction. And God knows this is the truth. So you need to find out what you want out of life. You need to find out who you are. And the only way you're gonna find out who you are is if you go through God. I'm sorry. I, I'm just so sorry. So, you know, I, I I hope this bless somebody. I hope somebody wakes up and hear this. Um, I'm I'm just giving you what's real. I'm giving you what's real. I'm not I'm not talking to you based on my opinion. I'm talking to you based on facts. When God sends you back that report, don't put it in the trash. It's going to get worse and worse. The friendship's going to get worse. The relationship's going to get... It's going to get worse. When he sends you... When, when, when he sends you the report and you see the report, know that it's real. Know that it's true. Don't look at this report and put it in the trash and say, well, I, I think this is wrong because I've been knowing um him for 15 years. And God going to just every day, it's going to be something that he going to expose about that person. And if you still sit there and take it, that's on you. But the only way you're going to grow is if you go. You got to go. They got to go. You got to release your old self. Let them have the old you and you go, the new you go with God. The only thing they're going to have is memories of you. You have to go. If you want to accomplish anything in life, see, we, we got we got too much wasted time with the wrong people. We got too much wasted time with the wrong people. You got to go. I don't know who that's for. You got to go. You got too much potential. You're too smart. You're too bright to even surround yourself around 
people that don't respect your value. They don't even respect you. They don't even like you. You need to go. You need to glow. Go into the kingdom and be a, a different person. Be be who God has set for you to be. You have to go. And I hope this helps somebody. I hope this bless somebody. But you have to really take in heed of the people that you have around you. You have to. I like to say thank you to everybody that has been reaching out to me. Um, this really means so much to me, but I hope I, I reach somebody heart. I don't care if I touch one person today with this message. You have to go. And that's just period, point blank. They don't like you. They, they're they not your friends. He don't like you. She don't like you. You will never grow. You're going to forever be at a standstill. They got to go. Just period, point blank. I don't care how long you've been knowing. You've been knowing for twenty years. It can be, it can be your family members. They, it, it, it can be your family members. They have to go. If they not respecting you, the only people that you should have around you is people that you going high with, and you still need to pray on them too. Because if you always around somebody, it's always drama, it's always negativity. We ain't moving. We ain't moved in 40 years. We ain't moved together in 40 years. We just standing here at the same spot. Well, what are we doing? Pray about it. And sometimes you ain't even got to pray about some stuff. You just know people ain't for you. You just know they ain't going in the direction you're going in. You just know it. But I want you to pray about it. And, and you're going to see the results. Thank you so much. This is your host, Latoya Walker. I'm out. Bye-bye.